よ。Here's my first day in Copenhagen. Just landed, thought it might be fun to go to the beach. It's just uh, hit a balmy one degree Celsius. Had a fairly early flight this morning. It uh, landed here about nine in the morning, but my hostel won't, uh, doesn't want me to check in until like mid afternoon. So I'm kind of just roaming around, checking the place out. This is actually beautiful. It's an artificial island, just a metro stop or two from the airport. I figured I'd jump off the metro and, you know, go for a walk. So I'm just kind of here, chilling in many senses, watching the planes come in, some kites over there, listening to some music, that sort of thing. I'm in a very contemplative mood. I don't really feel like doing anything, so this is perfect for me. So this is day two. The first day I mostly spent in the library just kind of working on some stuff. Uh, so when I got back to the hostel, went to have a shower, took off my pants, there's a rip in the crotch. This is the second time in two weeks, which leaves me precipitously close to not having any pants to rip. I think this trip is turning more into a self-care catch-up and uh, buy new pants trip. That was pretty good actually. Yeah, and apparently I've gone down four inches in pant size, which makes things a lot easier to find clothes. After deciding to take my trousers for a test run, I just about immediately stumble on what Tay, my almost Danish friend, suggested I might like to drapes up. The round tower. Oh no. So that's the round tower. It's fairly central, costs a bit over three euro to gaze over the city. I'd say it's worth it. I really wanted to visit the Castle Ed, mostly because it's one of the more distinctive features when you look at the map. It's shaped like a pentagon, it's a star fort that was built in 1664 and used to repel invaders and defend Copenhagen. It looks really cool. So nothing was really open, but it was free entry and it was fun to walk around the walls and soak it all in. I spent the rest of the day just wondering and was especially happy to catch the early sunset before heading back to the hostel. To relax.
Se ríe, se ríe, porque es para, para 